So Morgan Stanley just dropped a bomb on the AI industry, and this is coming up in big news. They're warning about circular relationships where AI companies are basically selling to each other in a massive game of musical chairs. So what happens when the music stop? Are we going to watch an $800 billion house of cards? After tracking tech for a long time, I've never seen numbers this connected from reality. Bain Capital says there's going to be an $800 billion gap between what companies are spending on AI and what they're making from it. So today I'm going to break down why Morgan Stanley is sounding the alarm and why the fallout could make the dot-com crash look like a picnic. Let's dive into this today. So look, we're definitely in a bubble. The question is uh, if, uh, the question isn't if we're in a bubble, it's when and how bad. What's going to trigger the collapse? If If it pops, what are we left with? And if it doesn't pop soon, how much worse does this get? Now, take a quick minute really quick and drop a comment down below and tell me your thoughts about where you think we're at and whether you think this is a bubble or not or what your thoughts are. Your comments are seriously some of my favorite parts about making these videos, so drop a comment down below. Now, let's jump over into some of these articles here because I want to go through some of these today. So this is an analyst from Morgan Stanley. He says a lot more disclosure is needed on these circular AI deals. The circularity issue keeps swirling. Now, he's talking about that there's a lot going on, right? So published last Wednesday, it focused on a growing concern for many of the markets. The hundreds of billions of dollars worth of AI-related deals swirling between Microsoft, NVIDIA, Oracle, CoreWeave, and, of course, our favorite OpenAI. Now, when we look at this here, you can see that this is just a, and this is just a small part because this isn't talking about the new Broadcom deal. It's not talking about so many of the other pieces to it, right? This isn't talking about Stargate funding a lot of this stuff, right? So there's so much of it. This is just these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven companies here. So this is crazy, right? When we see how in, intertwined all of this is, this gets ridiculous, right? Because OpenAI is buying from Oracle, who's then buying from NVIDIA, who's then, like, you can just see how crazy this is getting. And now we even have two pretty staunch competitors between AMD and NVIDIA in there. Now you want to throw Intel and a bunch of others in the mix, and this gets absolutely wonky really quick. Now, I'm going to break down this meeting here because it's a long meeting, but I, I've got some notes here for you that I want to go through with you. This other article here it says, it the AI bubble is far worse than we thought. 2008 who? I mean, the last time we saw a really good meltdown. So everyone who's in, who's in isn't a tech bro weirdo can see that the AI industry exists in a bubble. The big question so far hasn't been if there's a bubble, but how large it is and when it will pop, right? And so this is where we really start getting into it. So this wouldn't be a problem if these AI had reached a point of usefulness, but they haven't fully yet. So what I'm seeing, like, so tonight we were out uh, doing something and my son was sitting in the backseat playing with Sora, generating a whole bunch of uh, AI slot videos. If you like this clip, make sure you check out the full Startup Hack live video here because we've got lots more for you today.